How's it going guys, Nagarama here, and welcome to Portal Stories Mel. So, this is actually, technically speaking, just a story from the Portal series, but we're not going to do, going too much into detail. I actually did play this game one time through, as you can actually see, like there is uh, literally a lot actually to this game, considering it's basically just a short story. But anyway, for now... We we are going to start a new game and begin with actually chapter one. Is this thing on? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson. And boy, do I have something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you, so take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life, even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... So, this town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're writing there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now, though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. All right, you're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. <clears throat> Wait, Chris, go on here. How do you spell station? Okay, think about that for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? All right, listen to me. Pack your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> oh, I can't really record this. <clears throat> now, as I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain. Up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. No. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet, either. <clears throat> that's thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands-on. I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> anyway, just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You'll know where to go. So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no, the zoning boards on my bean counter said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine to do all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the you're fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. 
If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least ten of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, ninety tests. We can test whatever we want to, and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mason. Those guys can kiss my... Uh, sir, that's being recorded. Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here, and I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months, so you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests, the Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. When you get to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Uh, an hour, at most, if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry. We ain't got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. So... As I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading to an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Had six signs, boys, disappeared because then. Don't worry, those toys won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Harry lied to me. If you're hearing this message, you're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. Is, uh, is, is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, right, you can't answer. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry, though. We got you out okay. Nothing's different. Nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber. I'll tell you a bit more out there. I can't. More again.
Don't worry about the heights. Had a few of my scientists make what's called long fall boots. Uh, I mean, aperture science innovators, long fall boots. <laughs> that was easier to think of than I thought. Pick that yellow device up. Don't worry, it's not hazardous. I've had the scientists leave you a new device to help you. Yeah, that's right. A new test. Congratulations! You get to test something else now. Double the experiments for you. And here we go. There's an open door nearby. Should take you out of the building. You'll need that new test to move around. Don't worry though, we built the building like this. Uh, don't worry about that. It's just uh, a new drilling test we're doing down below. Yeah, <laughs> to get the salt mines deeper, to get more testing spheres in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Just ignore that. There we go. Hi, Kev Johnson. But th th I have to say, this game has a lot more... Don't mind all this too, we just had uh, earthquakes. Lots of earthquakes. Yeah, yeah, you get lots of those here in Michigan. Okay. Uh, as I wanted to say is, um, there is a lot basically that is going on in this game. And there's a lot of stuff basically just in the um, overworld. Uh, like, there's not necessarily many test chambers, as far as I remember, and... These earthquakes uh, even shook up time a bit. Some stuff from the future got here. Yeah, that's how it's here. Uh, don't worry, it's still 1952. Adlai Stevenson is still president. Okay. Right, so, the earthquakes. Kind of did some redecorating in here. Destroy the door, too. You'll have to find another way out. Okay. Anyway, what I wanted to say is there is uh, a lot of things in this game that probably don't make much sense at the beginning for the bit well for now at least. I know that sentence like made no sense, but uh I I'm sure it will at one point. Oh, yeah, Alright. These ones don't shoot me. Right, that one does. There's gotta be something you can use to launch yourself over the door. There has to be another way out. New kiss. So. There we go. Things, things might, might look, look different, different than, than what you're used to, to but uh, uh, while you were spending that little, little time, time sleeping, we had some some uh, aperture science nanomachines, nanomachines come in and build all this stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're, They're quick, quick little guys, guys. faster than any science guy I got. Yeah, I'm not going to dawdle around too much. I'm literally going straight actually to the tests. Wow. Tests. Beyond that door is one of the new testing tracks. Totally, completely new. Get through it and head to the first testing sphere. Now, I I'll just you want to make there. sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. Now, some guy decided that it would be a good idea to make ones that if you turn the power off, you can easily turn it back on. That switch isn't, isn't like, like the rest of them. The, the others other trip a circuit, circuit break. break. I think these switches were designed for two people. Maybe your uh, new test can help. Well, of course it can. Remember, you can always turn the power on or off again.
And yes, if I walk through that, it kills me. Seal O one. These giant freaking doors, that looks still so super impressive to me. It doesn't matter how many times I'm seeing it, it literally still impresses me. Anyway, uh, I guess I'm going up there. And over to here. And then we're walking over the tubes. I mean, because, uh... We can. The new testing track is just through here. Oh, wait. What about that area then? Never mind. Hi, Crow. your uh, reflexes, you know, after your short sleep. Oh well. I'm fine. It didn't even startle me. Anyway, here we go. Finally into the tests. Of course, it's too exciting now a little, uh, well, a small while before we actually finally get into the, um, actual swing of things. But, here we are. Thanks, my eyes. Ah, oh, yes. Bravo Volta. The, hold on. Fit. Testing track. Yes, fit. You'll need a portal device to get through. Uh... Uh, sorry, I, I meant a portable quantum tunneling device. I, look, it's in your hands right now. Uh, the scientists did their job. You'll do fine. God damn it. Get me up? Thank you! Boy, yay, my head is a little bit woozy now. Good! We're here. Um, what means here now? Right, that's not helping. Well, that for sure is at least helping. Okay. Good. Oh. Right, now I need to do... This... To... Um... Where do I get a cube from? Cube? Ah, right. Now just boing.
So let's place these here. And the portal here. Well, fudge. Well, fine. And that's fudge. God damn it! Hit the frickin' portal! Whoa! Okay, um... Absolutely not what I wanted. That was legit not what I wanted. Mm, well, I guess I died. By the way, there's also not actually much you can say about. About, um, Portal Stories Mal. Are you fucking kidding me here right now? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? Why did it send me straight down? There we go. Now everything about this test is lead line, according to my 1950s notes here in my 1950s filing cabinet. Says it's harmful to humans. Uh, I mean, not harmful to humans. You'll be okay. Perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and uh, don't worry about the boxes. We got a ton back stocked ready for this kind of thing. Throw them at the wall, destroyed, rinse and repeat. Useless little things. Made them in an hour. Um. Oh, come on. Thank you. You're not dead. That means that high toxicity lead didn't get in the air. I mean, great job, astronauts, Olympian, or war hero. You really are a merit to science. Or something like that. J just remember the Nuremberg Olympics. I really have to say, I know I cheesed that a little bit, but I mean, I don't really care. If the game allows me to do that, I'm going to do that. But with that, we're also at the end of our current episode. So this has already been Portal Story Smell, like at least the first episode. I know there wasn't really much happening. I need to cut this anyway down a little bit. So for now... Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, leave back a like and a comment. Tell me what you thought about it. I mean, you know by now the usual gist and jazz. So, for now, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till then, see ya.